big win here for the Cleveland Browns in what was, you know, the end of that week. Certainly a lot of, I don't want to say turmoil with the Odell Beckham Jr. situation, but the Odell situation <laughs> sorted. And now Cleveland uh, bouncing back nicely here. You could say turmoil. I think uh, the, the easiest way to talk about it really is like these are challenging weeks, right? It's challenging for the coaching staff, for the organization, the players and everything. But in the NFL, there's like two worlds. One is outside the building, outside the facility. And when you're outside of that, you feel the weight of it, your family, your friends, everyone texts and you just turn the TV on and it's talking about it, everything locally on your drive-in. But as soon as you go in the facility, it's about football, it's about getting immersed in your opponent that week, finding out what the Bengals, you know, are doing on third and seven plus, third and one to three, and all of a sudden how to, you know, go against your guy and his hand placement as a defensive end and you just they just go to work and I think the Browns did that this week they got in the building they went to work and all of a sudden they wake up at the end and be like, oh yeah the Odell thing remember that was happening that was like a month ago now because they were so immersed in the Bengals and they showed today that they were able to just go to work and come back and win a tough football game on the road Two weeks ago, the Cincinnati Bengals were number one team in the AFC. Now they've gone two straight losses uh, here last week to the Jets, uh, this week to the Browns. What do you make of the Bengals situation right now, and why can't this team seem to find that consistency that they had against Baltimore? Well, I think you're seeing a lot of parity in the NFL right now. I think uh, scheme matters. Um, Young quarterbacks, I mean, sometimes these games come down to a tip ball here and there. And today you could argue early in the game one play that went 9,900 yards, uh, Denzel Ward's interception. The Bengals are going right down the field to score a touchdown. And right at the end, as an interception goes the other way, they go right down the field again and score. Well, if that changed and that went the other way where they scored there, this game is completely different because now you're not dropping back to throw on every down against Miles Garrett in this front. And so sometimes it just comes down to that, and you just got to learn each week. But I don't think there's any team right now that's just, whoa, so much better than everybody else. And that's why you see teams who are in first place two weeks later, they're in third place in their division or fourth place. And I think it's going to be like that the rest of the year. Tony, thanks for hopping on with us. Great job today as Cleveland uh, lays one in on the Cincinnati Bengals. Thanks for joining us here on HQ after that one. Thanks, guys. We mentioned it off the top. Baker Mayfield versus Joe Burrow, and Joe Burrow uh, has yet to win uh, versus Baker Mayfield. When you look at it here, and, uh, I mean, Tony said it perfectly there, Pete, about the fact that they've just, they were able to just turn the page. The Odell situation is sorted. Now we can just get down and get to work. Yeah, and that's what you have to do. There were people in that building that probably loved Odell Beckham. There were probably a lot of people in that building that didn't like Odell Beckham. You just go play. Speaking of Baker Mayfield, he was with our Tracy Wolfson after this one. Baker, I think that your smile said it all down the stretch there. The fans chanting Baker Mayfield, by the way, on the road, no less. After everything that took place this week and the release of Odell Beckham Jr., what can you say about how this team was able to come out and put on a performance like this? I'm so proud of this group. Uh, I mean, truly, this is an unbelievable group, and this wasn't about anybody else but this team. They're coming together and playing for each other, and we did just that. I mean, the defense lights out. That's a really good offense that they played against and uh, a bunch of turnovers. Uh, you know, we got to finish better in the red zone when they set us up for those touchdowns, but, uh, you know, we'll take a win. We just got to keep improving, but I am I'm so, so, so proud of this group being able to come together and focus on doing their job. A lot of talk coming into this game was how this offense might play a little freer. It looked that way to us. Did you feel that way? No, I, I, truly, I think it was just, I've been talking about executing, and we did that. You know, we executed uh, for the most part. Obviously, like I said, we need to score in the red zone. We need sevens, not threes. So uh, we'll work on that. But I, I just thought our guys played for each other. And when it comes down to it, that'll take you a long, long way. How does this game, this win, set you guys up? for the rest of the season, especially coming in the AFC North. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that was a big game for us, to be honest with you. Uh, sitting at 4-4, four and four, playing a division opponent. I mean, it's a really tight division. It's a tough one. So that was important for us. We just got to keep improving, build on it one week at a time, and uh, we'll see where it takes us. Enjoy this one. Appreciate it. Thank you. Fantasy Outlook here. 
Baker Mayfield getting you 20 points today. Nick Chubb, if you had both of those guys and maybe even throw in a little Joe Mixon, uh, you had yourself a very good fantasy day today. Two of the best running backs in fantasy coming into the season, finally starting to look that way. Mixon's been good all season long, but Chubb, you know, with injury and obviously some inconsistent performances can give a, hopefully deliver uh, a strong finish. And we're going to talk, obviously, on Tuesday about Donovan Peoples-Jones as one of the top waiver wire ads. So in terms of these games, let's start with this Cleveland-Cincinnati game. Uh, Pete, how impressed were you with what you saw from the Browns today? Well, considering everything they went through this week with the Beckham situation and to respond the way they did is impressive. Look, they had their, they went right down the field, the Bengals. Your back's against the wall. You're at their place. It's going to be one of those games where you look at it and you say, uh-oh, oh, here we go. And then they get the pick six by Ward. It totally flipped the whole momentum of that game, and I don't think the Bengals recovered from it. So... The Browns deserve a lot of credit. If they don't win this game, they're at the bottom of the division. They're looking up at a bunch of teams. It's a big issue for them. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.